you've been having driving lessons and your instructor says to you about three weeks before your driving test, you're not gonna be ready for your driving test. Let's put your test off. What are your options? Let me just kind of talk about the worst case scenario and we'll cover the options. So the, the, if you're thinking everything's going fine and you're getting some good scores on your marking sheets and you're thinking everything's going okay into plan and then all of a sudden your instructor turns around to assess you, well actually we need to put your test off because there's no way you're gonna pass. We've done a mock test today and you've got four or five series and loads of little faults. Then you need to say to yourself, what are my options at that point? And you'll be shocked at the fact that you put under pressure. And rightly so, if you've, if you've been given the impression that everything's going fine, then it is a shock. But at the same time, it's also a blessing in disguise because the last thing you want to do is take your driving test and fail with all them faults within series because that'll just do your confidence no good at all. So you can bear, 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 bury your head in the sand and say to the instructor, right, okay, thank you, and then walk out the door and don't see him again, and then go and hire a car from Arnold Clark, they hire, or whoever company hires learner cars out, and take your test with, in a hire car with a family member, and take that chance, in which case, if you pass, you're probably still gonna have the same problems, in which case, you might have an accident, serious accident, straight after you pass, or on the test, it's probably gonna show up that you've, you're not very good at these point, points, or you can try and find another instructor, and if the decent instructor, they're gonna to say to you, you're not ready for your driving test, you need to work on these faults. Or you can say to your, your original instructor, okay, I'm shocked, let's sit down and come up with a plan. And that's probably the best option you can do at that point. If you've got a decent instructor who cares about you and your safety, then this is what you're gonna do. Because I know there's gonna be people out there who are gonna say, well, they're only after your money. And that's not true. 99.9% .9 of instructors are safety aren't they they want to make sure when you're on the road it's safety and it's their reputation at the same time you know they want to make sure you pass it because on their record last thing they want to do is take you for the driving test and you fail miserably and people do fail because things go wrong for all sorts of reasons so let's just go back to the you know your instructor sets you you're not ready for your driving test you've got so many series and loads of little faults sit yourself down with your instructor and say, right, we've got three weeks to go, or two weeks to go, or a month to go. Let's plan a, a, a timeline to work on these faults and increase your hours. You know, if you have to, get yourself in, because all you want to do is fail. You want to go into that test knowing that you've got a great chance of passing, and it's working on the faults. Don't leave the faults to kind of fester. If you're not great at your manoeuvre and, you, and the instructor says to you, well, we've done a mock test and you failed on your manoeuvre. You're not even looking over your shoulders or you're doing a, a reversion to a parking space and you're not even getting in the bay. You're leaving it completely wrong thinking it's okay. So work on the manoeuvres because you know on your driving test you're going to get a manoeuvre of sorts, one manoeuvre. So make sure the manoeuvres are right. And if, there, if, if you're being told you yeah, hesitation at roundabouts, then work on the roundabouts. Get confident at quiet roundabouts. Work on what's going on. Understand who you give way to. Understand what's happening on your right, who they're giving way to. And you'll be better at working out when to go. And then go to the busier ones. So you kind of plan it in. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to go down that list, working on these things, so that you're in a better position. You know, and just... Well, I say, sit down with your instructor and say some right, let's plan all this in, in advance. So they're agreeing with you that you get all these done, we'll take the test, all right? Then you're in a better position, okay? Good luck, I hope this helps you because like I say, when people are told they're not ready, it's like, but if you can sort it out, you'll be fine.